It's only a few days now until Remembrance Day ceremonies will be held all across the country. Now in Cold Lake, they are preparing for a very different ceremony than the one that they usually have. For the first time, the city and the base will be combining theirs together. Fraser Snowden has more. Officials are hoping to attract more than 2,500 people to the Imperial Oil Center this year. Usually the ceremonies are separate, but Mayor Craig Copeland and the wing commander thought of bringing it together. Have everybody come to one arena. I think it really demonstrates all Cool Lakers and people around the area are going to be united uh, to, to give their, their thanks to the men and women that have served uh, in the past conflicts and present. So I think it's, it's going to be a great, uh, great ceremony. The ceremony for CFB Cold Lake is usually held at JJ Park and is open to the public. But Copeland believes that given the challenges the military has had this year, combining the two will mean a lot to the community. With the whole um, conflict that is overseas right now and for the fallen soldiers uh, recently, a couple of weeks ago, I think the, the, uh, I think Canada is really, uh, really coming together, uniting uh, with the, uh, the armed forces. Residents of Cold Lake feel we should never forget our fallen and plan to remember them next week. It's wonderful to have a remembering day. And uh, I was a war bride, so I know all about Army life. For our freedom. They fought for our freedom, which we haven't got anymore. Just to remember that the sh soldiers helped us through and helped us from getting hurt. People who plan to attend the Remembrance Day at the Imperial Oil Center should be in place by 10.15 a.m. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Meanwhile, dozens of students, teachers, and members of the community gathered at ES Laird Middle School today for a solemn Remembrance Day ceremony. From poppies worn proudly to posters hanging on the walls, yes, Laird Middle School students and staff paid tribute to the soldiers who gave up their lives for freedom. What they did for us, and we're always going to be grateful for what they did. The soldiers fought for their lives, and some of them actually lost their lives. And uh, they didn't have to do that, but they did, so that just shows like what kind of people they are. Sharon Howland, a teacher at ES Laird, says many student groups were involved in the preparing for the ceremony almost entirely student-led. It's a day where students, I think, take a moment or a few moments to honour those that are protecting our country today and in the past. Some were seriously injured while others gave their lives. Members of the Legion were in attendance as well as an official from CFB Wainwright. And the record-breaking pace of poppy sales this year is actually causing a shortage. There's even concern now that some legions may run out of poppies before Remembrance Day. So far this year, about 19 million of them have been distributed. That's a million more than this time last year. Well, it's that time of year again where men attempt to grow a nice, full, bushy lip sweater. Now, November is the month where men grow a mustache to bring awareness to prostate and testicular cancer. This year, they have added mental health to the list as well. Lloyd FM afternoon host Brandon Seeley is participating in November with his colleagues in hopes to raise awareness and $1,500. No, no, no. I started doing it back when my, my grandfather actually went in for an appointment. Turned out that he had prostate cancer, and it just, it really, I had not known anybody with prostate cancer at the time, and I was trying to figure out something that I could do. I mean, I couldn't cure it myself, but anything to raise awareness, raise money for it, and do my little part, I was like, I can do this. I can grow a little bit of mustache. A new focus this year is also raising awareness of mental health issues. A lot of people as much as they knew about depression and things like that, when it affected somebody as influential as Robin Williams, I think it had to be brought to the forefront a whole lot more. To donate and help out the cause, you can visit the Lloyd FM website and click the Movember page. As well, listeners and staff can vote on a hair color for Seely, as he will also be dyeing his hair in a way to say thanks if he meets his fundraising total.